I ain't doing trans jokes no more. You know what I'm gonna do tonight? Tonight, I'm doing all handicap jokes. <laughs> well, they're not as organized as the gays. <laughs> and I love punching down. There's probably a handicap in the back right now because that's where they usually make them sit. <laughs> I came here to laugh at transgender people. <laughs> I didn't know this nigga was gonna make jokes about us. Come on, y'all, let's get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> yeah, it's about time somebody let these handicaps have it. <laughs> they done met their match tonight, fuck them. <laughs> One time I was on Capitol Hill and I seen a handicapped congressman. Madison Cawthorn, that's his name. <laughs> He's a Republican from North Carolina, and, 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 and he was shocked, because I, I saw him, and I, and I go, hello, Congressman. He didn't even know I knew who he was. He turned around. <laughs> then I just walked away. I wanted him to see me do something he couldn't do. <laughs> I skipped. That nigga was mad. <laughs> He's no longer a congressman. I don't know if you follow politics. Uh, I'm not trying to be funny, but <laughs> he lost his seat. <laughs> he ran a bad race. <laughs> oh, buddy, yes, he did. And you know what he did wrong? He was running for Congress again, and this motherfucker tried to be controversial. He was on all them right-wing podcasts talking all that shit. He was like, he was like, Washington is worse than Hollywood. I was at home like, what? He said, these people are disgusting. They have orgies and sex parties and drug parties. And I was thinking, this nigga sounds like Juicy Smoothie. <laughs> He's lying. Now, I don't doubt that they do this kind of shit in Washington. But I doubt he's seen it with his own eyes. <laughs> because who the fuck invites a paraplegic to an orgy? <laughs> so this nigga can roll around and snitch on everybody. <laughs> I said, there's only one reason you can invite him to an orgy. And you know what that is. Have at it, guys, I can't feel anything. <laughs> Let's get this bill passed for America. One at a time, folks. <laughs> oh, buddy. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, the handicaps are the new people I punched down on. To be honest with you, I've been trying to repair my relationship with the transgender community because I don't want them to think that I don't like them. And you know how I've been repairing it? Uh, I wrote a play. I did, because I know the gays love plays. <laughs> it's a very sad play, but it's, it's moving. It's about a black transgender woman whose pronoun is sadly nigger. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tearjerker. <laughs> At the end of the play, she dies of loneliness because white liberals don't know how to speak to her. <laughs> sad. Speaking of nigger, I've also been working on a book, and this is true. I'm rewriting the American classic, Huckleberry Finn, from Nigger Jim's perspective. It's called The Adventures of Nigger Jim. That's how the book starts. Huckleberry Finn walks up to him and goes, so you're Nigger Jim. And he's like, yo, I just said Jim. What's your name, little buddy? Huckleberry Finn is my name. What? H Huckleberry. That's your, your real name? God given. <sighs> you know what? Just call me Nigger Jim. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if you are black or white or whatever. If you ever meet a white person named Huckleberry, <laughs> he has less money than you. <laughs> that is the white trashiest name I've ever heard in my fucking life. If you have a name like Huckleberry, you're doomed to fail. If I was in court and my lawyer came up and was like, I am your attorney, Huckleberry Finn, I'd be like, uh-oh, I'm going to jail.
God forbid I ever go to jail. But if I do, I hope it's in California. Because as soon as the judge sends me, I'll be like, Your Honor, before you sentence me, I just want the court to know I identify as a woman. <laughs> Send me to woman's jail. <laughs> and as soon as I get in there, you know what I'm gonna be doing? Give me a fruit cocktail, bitch, before I knock your motherfucking teeth out. I'm a girl just like you, bitch. Come over here and suck this girl dick I got. Don't make me explain myself. I'm a girl. You know, I have a great reputation in show business, but, but in comedy, I'm, I'm what's known as a, as a lazy comedian, which is crazy because I work all the time, but that's not why they call me lazy. They call me lazy because I do shows sometimes, 20,000 people be in the crowd, and, and I'll tell a joke, and, and they'll all look at me like I'm crazy. But three or four people will laugh really hard, <laughs> and I'll be on stage like, yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> Well, this next joke is one of those jokes that... <laughs> it's not, you know what I mean? I like to tell it, but it never does good. But I'm gonna do it. You know why it doesn't do good? I'm not good at impressions, but this is an impression. You ready? Okay. <laughs> this is not gonna work. All right, this is my impression. This is my impression... <laughs> of the dead people on the Titanic. He didn't let me finish. <laughs> this is my impression of the dead people on the Titanic as the submersible was approaching their ship. <laughs> That's good enough. All right, here it goes. Okay. <laughs> right. I can do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay, here it goes. Join us in our watery grave. <laughs> 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 